Good evening ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another action packed episode of Grand Theft Auto 4. So, today I am planning to go to Brucey. Maybe I should take a cab. Here we are then. That's great. All right. Hey, Brucey, what's up? Hey, Nico B. Come here, show me the love man whoa, hug enough. time. Oh, all right. <laughs> whoa, whoa, what are we about here, you and me? I don't know. What are we about, boy? Oh, I'm an immigrant and a hired gun and you're a steroid junkie, but we get along. No, not that stuff. That's superficial. I'm talking about the real shit. What? We're winners, man. Fucking winners. That's how we roll, brother. Bling, check. Bodies, check. Paper, check. That's how we roll, bitches. The boss. Are you all right? Too much bullshit testosterone up the ass. Fuck you. Fuck you, man. Hey, check this out. Lenny! Lenny! Is the bitch ready? Well, she's very shiny. Look at her. And we tears of pure gold. Motherfuckers. Come on now. Let's go show some people just how we roll. Yeah. All right. Come on, get in. <laughs> Come on, start you. Pure gold, eh, big man? <laughs> Lenny, you're a fucking asshole. What is this? What is this? You tune to yourself. <laughs> well, what should I do? I mean, I need a flashy car. People are going to think I'm a no nut bullshitter if I fail to deliver here. How about Steve's car? Yes. I'll call him on the way. Nico, can you drive us to Freetown Avenue and Willis? Yeah. Come on. Let's roll, bitches. Woo! Uh, Nikki, we need some wheels. Nico, man, excuse me, but I got to make this call to tell this guy we're borrowing his car. TV boy, has tricks. No, man, you, you can spot me. <laughs> yeah. For sure. All right, uh, listen, man. All right, listen, me. Me and my ice cold friend Nico got to borrow your car. No, no, no. The other one. Oh, well, of course it'll be cool. What? Well, It's outside? Great. Love you, man. He's fine with us taking it. We won't have an incident like the last time I got the car for you. No way, man. That, that was a one time only, baby. Me and Stevie are tight. Okay, tighter than that. Tighter than Shit, I was going to say my ass, but I think you know that nothing's tighter than this shit. Yeah. Want to feel? Mm, thanks, but uh, I got my hands full. <laughs> God, this is exactly the type of shit you and me should be doing. Cruising for bitches, destroying the town. You and me could be doing some serious damage, like like a nuclear bomb up in this shit. But 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 a sexy bomb, you know? A bomb that only affects girls with D cups, tight asses, blonde hair, no cellulite, and tan. Yeah. Right. Uh, I don't know if I get your meaning, but uh, we can hang out sometime. All right. So we are about to fetch a car, which might be a sports car, and the ride gonna be awful. You know, look at the guy. He's opening this bonnet. I'm amazed with the versatility of. the pedestrians in here <laughs> all right look at the beauty go to the race start all right man so we got a race and we got the location is in mind so when we get there will you be driving no way man I'm just here to look good. Me and you are cruising together. That's how we roll. Passenger side, flexing the guns, scoping the chicks, flashing the bling, pumping the sounds, riding shotgun while my boy Nico pulls off some badass Red Army P90 
pedal to the metal, skin of your teeth, burnt rubber moves. Am I right? Is that our style? Because I think that that is how we roll up in this It's shit. a two-seater comet. fucking pumped today. All right. Location is here. This this car has an amazing handling. Here we be. You ready to feel the G's? Whoa! Your skin looks really rough, man. You had some help? A little, a little botulism special there? I like that, homie. Do you want a shot when we get back? I'm fine. All right, man. I gotta be real careful while driving. I won't be driving real fast because I know I lost control sometimes. These suckers don't know how to drive. Man. They're just kicking you off off the track. <laughs> Let's look at this in furnace tomorrow. Holy crap. Wait, yeah, guys, we'll meet the third. Hopefully, I'll be the first one. Alright. So, we have taken the lead. And hopefully, the race will end up well for me. As per the expectation of Brucey. This is a spiritual fucking experience. <laughs> Brucey is enjoying the ride. And so am I. This car has an amazing feel. It has got an amazing power, man. Winners, baby! That's the only place for us. Alright, so here is the U-turn. Yeah. Holy shit. Numero Uno! All right. You think someone like me has come second even once? This is life? the end. No fucking wow. way. Intense. The race Intense. was amazing. I fucking love you, man. Number one, good driving. How do I look? Pretty good, right? Yeah, pretty good. Take me back to my party, man. I'm feeling jacked. I want to hit the weights now. <laughs> All right. You know what, Nico? You can keep this car. You earned it. And I can't have my boy rolling in anything but serious, genetically different winter style, you know? I thought it belonged to Steve. Fuck Steve. You are the man, man. You are number one. You won this shit anyway. I'll give Steve the bitch. The bitch don't work too good. Don't worry about that. Brucey has the magic fingers. They only touch prime engines, hot models, no cellulite. Okay, VIP only. Read my lips. I'm a winner. And when they touch... Shit! They work some serious magic, bro! What is it that you do, Brucey? Are you a mechanic? I don't get it. I'm a businessman! An entrepreneur! I make shit happen! Sure, but you seem kind of legit. Why you need guys killed? Of course I'm legit! Have you seen my delts? That shit is as legitimate as it gets! What about these guys you need killed? Fuck, Nicky! You know Brucey! He's number one! It's... Lonely at the top. Sometimes the juice, it just takes control. Okay, red mist descends, and I need shit to happen to people. Are you talking about fucking roid rage? Is that why I killed those men? Oh, they were bad cats, Nikki. Maybe the juice meant I wasn't as uh, patient as I should have been. But you know, as a businessman, I can't let people get away with shit. I need to be firm. Look, Brucey, I like you, and I think we should hang out, but... I don't want to work with you no more. I can't go around fucking people up because you've overdone it on the juice. Oh, all right, Nikki, man. I'm feeling you, okay? You don't want to let our business thing get in the way of our personal relationship. That's all good, man. Cool. 
Okay. Nikki, I feel like we really bonded back there. I'm close to you, man. You let me inside. You, you, you let your armor down, you know? We had a moment, man. Call me, and we'll hang. Sure we did. <laughs> All right, man. So we have earned this car, and I'm gonna keep it like a queen. Because it's my car, I've earned it. And now I'm going to buy weapons. Not weapons. Something like ammo. And yeah, maybe I'll be changing the sniper. Because I've got the, the normal sniper and I do want a, I want that combat sniper type of thing which is used by Russian snipers. <laughs> Alright, so you can see this car has been unlocked and people are riding in the streets. Look at this green car, the Comet. <laughs> Man, I'm really very happy. I won this car, man. This is the first, first prize. Okay, over to the right, here we are. And the ammunition. In here. This is the sniper I was talking about. I'm gonna buy it. Oh yeah, beautiful Good day, sir. Just look at this. I'm gonna try with that person. He looks like a killer already. Wow, the accuracy is something way else. Alright, now I'm planning it to park into one of my safe house. The one which Roman had bought me. I thought its braking system was so damn good that I'll I'll be hitting the brake and it'll be stopped in no time. Amazing weather, man! I'm enjoying it. Wow, man. This weather is beautiful. I mean, look at the streets, man. Okay, so my apartment is near. I'm gonna park this car over here. Alright. And now I'm gonna take this one. And it'll be getting over to the princess. Alright, so we are moving to the castle gardens and it's a pretty long journey, till then enjoy the ride.
life the other day want a rematch. They liked your shit, man. Cool, I guess. Anytime you want to race, give me a call and I'll hit you up with a location. Peace, man. All right, man. So here we are after a long journey. Let me park my car in a decent way. Okay. Perfect. Give me one of them. Finally made up your mind, I see. That's great. Okay, so I uh, full, full, filled up my health and you can have a look at this place. It is amazing, trust me. Are you trying to get us both killed, you fucking asshole? What? I send you to destroy an organization and you only make the boss disappear. Now his chief lieutenant is holed up in an apartment, and he wants to speak to the feds. Whoa, hold on. An organization? No, oh, you fucking idiot! I paid you to do a man's job, you amateur, you fucking boy! No, 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 no. You sent me to kill one guy. One guy who would put you in prison. Bullshit! <sighs> All right, I'll tell you what, genius. I'll tell you fucking what. Tell it to the judge. Tell him I only sent you to kill one guy, so it ain't your fault. <laughs> I wonder what he'll say. Maybe he'll let you walk, on account of you being brain dead and totally fucking <laughs> mentally retarded. Maybe he will. Either way, you're screwed. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait. <laughs> Look, you gotta do this for me. For us. Come on, you idiot. <laughs> One more. That guy's a fucking lowlife. He means nothing. If there is a god, and he loves us, if there is, he'd want this cunt dead. Guy sells heroin to kids. The world is full of bad people. But we've got a lot to lose. I don't have anything to lose, Mr. McCreary. How much? You know my price. No. Five. You call. Cool. Five G's. You bastard. Okay. Now the guy lives in an apartment on Denver between V and W. He's holed up there pretty tight. I left a rifle for you in the trunk of a car at the corner of Albany and M. So go there, give me a call. Alright man, another assassination mission. There is an apartment between V and W, we said. I don't know what's, what that place is. There's a guy living in, inside and we gotta take him out through the sniper. I'm thankful that yeah, I had bought a beautiful sniper rifle. I wanted to tell you guys that if you do like my videos do not forget to hit the like button and if you do like it you might can share it to your friends to your gamer friends actually so that they may know about me all right so this is the location and this is the car it looks like Mercedes Benz. There is a sniper rifle inside, but I'm already having it. Okay, make your way to dealer's apartment off Denver Avenue. The dealer lives in Denver apartment. This guy I was talking about, he sells heroin to little kids. You know what it is it's a real major sin is doing <laughs> all right look at my apartment and my car over to the right
All right, so this is the spot. You Let me see. You with wire. Bro. I found the place. Okay, the mopes hold up in his apartment. It's on the fourth floor on the east side of the street. Go up onto the roof of the building east opposite side. to get a shot at him. What if he isn't standing by the window? Then use your damn imagination to get him to the window. Jesus! <laughs> Call me when it's done. <laughs> oh, Nico. Okay, so... This one... I don't know. Let us get inside and see. No one knows what we are about to hear. Okay, this one is the door leading to the top. Alright, pretty view. What is your emergency? Oh, I think my heart stopped. The left side of my face is Okay, so this is the guy. It is very similar to the guy we we didn't kill last time in the mission hall in Knights. Lure the dealer into the open and take him out. Okay. Man, but what should I do right now? He was watching TV. Should I shoot the TV? I don't know, I am... I'm scared that he might run away. But... There isn't a way, let us try. Let's try shooting that TV out. Holy shit. What happened? Alright man. Clear shot. I gotta take him down okay the target is compromised I'm leaving the rooftop I dealt with him. You did the right thing. I hope that the kids out there get this message and realize that there are better paths to take. I'm not interested in your sermon, Mr. McCreary. Let's not pretend that this was anything other than business. There's nothing wrong with admitting that you've done some good. The community thanks you. One percent better. If a hundred people manage that, it'd be a hundred percent. So guys, this is it for today. If you did enjoy the gameplay, do, do not forget to hit that like button and do not forget to subscribe. I'll definitely see you in the next one. Till then, have a good life. Bye.